life has been a year like no other for our Hot Springs Road Class High School East program. August until now, we have experienced Uncharted in many different ways that we never imagined. When our year started, we didn't realize how personal the meaning of Uncharted could be. For us, it has been a year of learning together, growing together, celebrating together, and ultimately getting 1% better every single day. We learned to look forward to the best outcomes, but also how to change our plans when things, well, don't go as planned. We learned to be okay with imperfection, but still strive to be the best versions of ourselves, not individually, but together. If we could choose to celebrate any part of our year, it would be how we've grown together in our program by learning new technologies, collaborating with our community, taking responsibility for our learning, and celebrating our accomplishments. To us, the theme of Uncharted means doing something for the very first time, usually in a unique way. And that captures our year so far perfectly. This entire school year has been a year of firsts. To begin, we got a new facilitator. A big first for our program was how many community partners and community members that we invited to our classroom. We didn't realize how many of these community connections and visits would turn into real projects that have a real impact on Hot Springs. Our program had 47 first year East students join. And while all of this only scratches the surface of the many new things we explored and experienced, we're just getting started. And this is the beginning of everything that we have learned we are capable of doing. For the first few months, we spent a lot of time learning about one another and team building together. This led us into projects and gave us a strong start to them. At the end of September and beginning of October, we started experience a lot at one time, and it was often a bit overwhelming for some of us. However, when something is uncharted, you sometimes need to take a different approach. So we did. A lot of students found things they were passionate about, like using Adobe software, or even something as simple as learning how to use a camera and how to take photos. Pretty much all of us found out something we were good at and figured out how we can use it in our program to grow with each other and help our local community. One community partner named Joyce Fowler came to speak with us. Joyce is the director of community projects at United Way of Washita's. She came to East for help with creating marketing videos for United Way of Washita's. All of their videos have been created through an agency that isn't local. Her vision was for us to create a promo that captures the community of Hot Springs and help to market United Way in a more personal light. She presented this project to Gabe, Jojo, Ricky, and Hi. She made a statement that would become the theme of our program. It's not a me community. It's a we community. This changed the way we viewed community partners and the projects they were bringing to our program. In community partner meetings, we began to learn how to ask questions to our potential partners and clients and gather feedback from them, which was a great start into brainstorming even more ideas. One project in particular that came from this was a project we called Building Spa City. High Impact Ministries is a local after-school care program that picks students up from school and takes them to the local community center where they get support with their homework and also have a snack and get to play sports. When in our meeting with Pastor Amos, he shared his vision for the future and briefly mentioned how they were all looking to move to a new facility on donated property. He asked if any students had experience with designing blueprints for buildings. Simply, the answer was no. But to us, saying no doesn't mean it's impossible. Saying no means that we are about to do the impossible. Hi, I'm Austin. I am a 10th grader. Miss Burris came to me and said, hey, I think you'd be good at this. And I know I looked at her like she was crazy, but she was asking me to learn about a software I'd never used and do a task that usually 10th graders don't get approached to do. Uh, so I got on SketchUp and found out it was pretty easy. I didn't really understand what Pastor Amos wanted me to do at the time, but I rendered a design of what I thought he might like. And when he came to he came to meet me, he spent almost the entire class period going over my design and explaining what he wanted it to look like. As soon as he left, I quickly started to redo that the design that I made and then sent a screencast for him to share with his board members because I was sadly unable to attend their actual meeting. We've 
we've had to make some arrangements along the way, but I am so excited to say that they are actually using my design. The building has two stories and includes offices for their staff, including the, a business office as an event center. The building is also able to accommodate their growth for years to come. Remember how we said this was a year first? For Austin, SketchUp was uncharted territory, but he learned it, used it, and grew from the experience. We can't wait for them to break ground, and we will support Austin along the way. This project is just one example of how our community impacted us, how we turned around and impacted our community too. Hot Springs, Arkansas is one of the two national parks that will be in the path of totality of the solar eclipse. Loose, Jonathan, and Jalen found a connection with Mr. Solider. Mr. Solider asked the students to create an interactive map to be embedded into the Visit Hot Springs website. They are using ArcGIS to create an experience for tourists and locals to have the most optimal experience during the eclipse. They are mapping the locations where watch parties are taking place, such as Mid-America. Kiana, Zeke, and Charles work with Miss Knight to create a video that will play in the K-2 to setting at our district elementary schools. The video plays during the morning meetings at our four elementary schools. The video itself teaches hand development sequence and facilitates fine motor skills that often students struggle with. Bad Habits is a project that focuses on the problem of addiction and substance abuse. Jamie and Zaria identified this as a problem after reviewing local data and seeing how their generation is affected by it. Zaria and Jamie met Marcus Tatum, and Mr. Tatum found his way to the East Classroom. Marcus is the Director of Prevention and a Prevention Specialist at Washita Children's Center. Mr. Tatum reviewed their game, explained his job and what it entails, and decided to use their game as one of the resources Washita Children's Center will use as part of their prevention strategies. After photographing several sports games, Sarah came up with the idea of wanting to do a podcast to recap the sports at our school. She had zero idea what that would turn into. Miss Karen Hill knew about East as she had worked with them in the past. Miss Hill knew that our program had a new facilitator and came to introduce herself to Miss Ferris. Miss Hill is the marketing coordinator of ESPN 96.3 in Arkansas. Not thinking much of it, Miss Burris invited Miss Hill to come speak to the class. Sarah took interest in the conversation Miss Hill was having, and before long, a group of students were leading a Trojan sports cast that could be heard every Friday morning on 96.3. Good morning, I'm Sarah. I'm Jalen. I'm Desiree. I'm Saisha. And thank you for tuning in to ESP in Arkansas 96.3 for your Hot Springs Trojan Sports Report, brought to you by National Park College and Heather Powell State Farm. We are so thankful for what our program has experienced this year. We have a lot of growing to do, but we don't want to forget to celebrate the progress we've made. At the beginning of the year, Ms. Burris told us to just go for it. After every idea, after every conversation, she told us to get 1% better from it. And we have. When we didn't code right the first time, we didn't give up. When Austin's design didn't go right for the first time and he needed to change the floor plan, he did. Our projects may be few in numbers, but its greatness comes from small beginnings. It's greatness from being a we community, not a me community. It's greatness from us doing the most with the hand we're dealt. It's uncharted, but it's not impossible. <laughs>